Pascagoula River Audubon Center reopening its doors to the public this That's week. That's right, Jennifer. And to kick off the reopening, you're invited to join in on all the fun this weekend for the center's annual Hummingbird Festival. Joining us today to discuss more on what you'll see is Senior Center Manager Dr. Mary Rogers. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Yeah, what better way to celebrate the opening and reopening of the center than with the Hummingbird Festival? Exactly, the fall migration. Yeah, so you guys have been busy doing some renovations. It's been closed yeah. completely all summer, yes, right? Yes, it has. It has. So we've um, done. We were, have some fencing coming on the way. We've looked at our elevators and made sure they're serviced and working correctly. Termite kinds of things that we've been working on. So a lot of inside things on the outside. We're getting new signs, and so all of the all the renovations are still in the works. Very yeah. exciting. Now this festival basically highlights like a specific hummingbird, right? We have that migrates. the ruby throated hummingbird is very is common to our area. And so that's the one that's going to be migrating. There will be others possibly, but that's the one that we focus on the most in Mississippi. And they are flying from up north down and they're fattening up a little bit <laughs> here with all the nectar and the flowers. And then they're going to be heading 500 miles across the Gulf of Mexico. Wow, what a great sight yeah, to it's see. A, yeah. And there's going to be more than hummingbirds, right? There's going to be like raptor demonstrations. And right. Stuff like we have that raptor. Show, we have a raptor show, so they're going to be there with owls and all kinds oh, wow. of birds of prey. So it'll be fun for the family. There'll be things going on all day long. Yeah. That's right. Now this is taking place this weekend right now. Is it free admission or they're going to have to purchase a ticket? Purchase a ticket. Audubon's a nonprofit organization, so it all goes to a good cause, right? So $10 for regular admission and $8 for seniors and military and $5 for children. Yeah, I think we're going to have some information coming up on your screen there about uh, those ticket prices and how you can purchase a ticket too. What else can we expect to see besides the migration and those birds? Of okay, we're going to have, well, our ornithologists are going to be there. So these people, they study birds, these scientists study birds. So they're going to be there and they're going to be, we're going to be actually netting some netting birds and that's how we um, can monitor them and they'll be tagging them. Okay. where they get a little bracelet and so it's like geotagging and we can watch where they go and we can it's also about the health of the birds we can find out so much from just watching their migration pattern wow yeah so there's drummers right and there's children's activities there's we can walk on our boardwalks so we've got lots of fun things going on vendors food trucks yeah. It's yeah. always exciting when you can get the kids out of the house off of some <laughs> of those devices for just a little bit and kind of learn, yeah. you know, the outside. A great educational experience for yes. them. What else um, to celebrate the reopening? Anything other than the Hummingbird Festival coming well, up on your agenda? We have great, excellent programming in store. So our Nature Tots program is going to be up and running strong. We have an uh, Audubon Academy for our homeschool students. Okay. We also have, we're, we're in the works on a STEM program for teens for workforce development. So people who love nature, but maybe don't feel like that they're, they wanna be a scientist, mm -hmm. they can learn this in an informal STEM setting. For example, learn to fly drones, learn to back up boats, learn to do um, water sampling, all kinds of salinity testing, and just have fun in nature. So interesting. Yeah. So of course, tell us exactly where they need to come. Of course, the Audubon Center in Pascagoula, but the time, location, and all those things. Okay, so we are, um, so if you go down I-10 and you're heading towards Florida, go on 613 and head south, and it's just right around the corner. And we are gonna be open from nine to three daily for a Friday and Saturday. And, and they can purchase those tickets in tickets advance or day of? Day of and advance. Yep. So we have special t-shirts for the event. We have all kinds of goodies. All right. Well, yeah. we thank you so much for joining yeah. us today. And we hope a lot of people come out to enjoy that because yeah. it sounds great. Me too. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks.